morning everybody we're at home here enjoying our holidays we have our first job lined up for us today we have a wasp nest to take care of this should be fun right under here you see it over there it's a pretty big one already Oh, goody. So, I'm off into town. I gotta go pick up some uh, some raid wasp and hornet killer. I wanna take care of that before I mow the lawn. I need to get this lawn mowed. But I don't want them bugging me while I'm doing it, so I guess I gotta go bug them first. Evict them. Wally World, where else has everything? I was gonna go to Canadian Tire, but when I'm filming this, it's a Sunday, a holy day. So we're lucky we have anything open here in Steinbeck. It used to be everything was closed on Sundays, not too long ago. And it was like, what, 10 years ago? Five, 10 years ago, somewhere in there, they started opening up uh, business for Sunday. But Canadian Tire only opens at noon. So I think like noon to five or something on Sunday. Which is fine, but I'd like to have that wasp nest taken care of by that time. So Walmart's open, they're open earlier. Uh, it's not that you're not allowed to have your businesses open on Sunday in Steinbeck. It used to be that you can't. Certain businesses could be open, but there used to actually be laws against opening businesses on Sundays. Uh, uh, it's a very religious area. It's a very, it's part of our heritage here. Uh, very uh, uh, conservative Christian uh, region of Canada and the province and used to be that everything was closed on Sundays. But we've gotten to the point where uh, uh, it's okay to be open. Some businesses choose only to open at noon though, and I think that's okay, that's up to them. But uh, it is nice to be able to get out and uh, actually get the stuff you need on Sunday and not have to run all the way to Winnipeg and give your money to people in a different community in Winnipeg. We'd like to keep our money here in our own community. Uh, I'm big in that too. I know it's kind of impossible to keep all of your money, every dollar, in your own community because practically everything's made in China. Everything. Not very much stuff is made right here. But if I can get stuff that's made elsewhere but sold by someone in my community, at least I'm helping someone partially in my community that way, right? So I like to support local as much as I can. At least the businesses here. Okay, I'm going to go inside, grab my stuff, and let's go and fight some bees. Or wasps, sorry. My wife keeps correcting me. I keep calling them bees. Wasps. Should be fun. See if I get stung or not. <laughs> this robot thing. Somebody lost their job to this thing. Are you stuck? Somebody lost their job. Oh, oh, I think he's stuck. <laughs> he doesn't like it that I'm watching him. Don't watch him work. He gets nervous. He's got some robot anxiety. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. be a little bit like should somebody be watching that thing I mean like what if there's a little kid sitting in front of it or standing in front of it and it didn't sense that there's a little kid there and it just like, pushed over the kid and tried to run over the kid there's nobody watching it and it's stuck again I don't know I just think you know with the time it's taking and how much it's getting stuck over here Are you stuck again bud He's stuck. If they had just hired someone, the whole floor would be already clean. <laughs> Shouldn't they be doing that after hours when there's no customers around that could possibly get hurt by that thing if it goes rogue? I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? Anyways, that was fun. Uh, at least I've never seen that before. We're here to find Raid. 
wasp pillar. I mean, I'm in the camping section right now, right? So it's got to be around here somewhere. I think it's still stuck over there, I think. What a waste of money that thing is. A robot. Robot cleaner. No, this is the toy section. It's definitely not going to be down here. It's tempting to buy something for Theo, but he's got enough toys. That thing's still stuck over there. So there's no raid here. I mean, you'd think that the mosquito spray would be somewhere around here with this stuff, right? Oh, see, like, here's my mosquito spray. Raid. There's probably a whole section of it somewhere. Then again, there's a lot of things that are uh, always missing in this Walmart. They are never stocked on the things that you need. Stocked on other things. But whenever you need something, it's always out of stock. Always. This is like car cleaner stuff, right? You get some bull snot on these shelves, right? Right? Found it in the garden section. Hmm? Oh. Wasp and hornet. Let me get two of them. Go hard or go home. And those wasps, they're going to have to find a new home. So it says it kills the nest. Defense system, attack control. So I've I researched online first. I've never actually taken out a hornet's nest before. This is why this is kind of like a big deal for me. And I'm going to war today. And uh, so I did a lot of research and apparently this was the best option. So what I do is I just take this and I just soak the nest. Soak the nest from a few feet away. I'll probably put on some loose clothing just in case a few get out and escape and try to sting me or something. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, what does it say here? Helps you work smarter, not harder to fight bugs. Hey, I like that. I like that. Cool. A family company since 1886. Well, you'd think that they'd know how to get rid of wasps in that time. To this year, if you're watching this later, is uh, it's July 2024. So they've had a little bit of time to perfect their, their recipes. I'm thinking that they should be good. So pretty much what I've watched in the videos is that you just get under there, a few feet away, soak their entire nest really good, let it soak in, soak it again, let it soak in, soak it again, let it soak in until it's really good. And then what I'll probably do, <coughs> give it a little while for them all to, uh, I guess, die inside the inside the hive. And once it's good and soaked, uh, I'll give it a little while until things quiet down and everything calms down a little bit because they're going to get very angry. And then uh, as soon as... Everything calms down, I just go in there with something, scrape the nest off, or I might take a pressure, like a, a, a water hose, just some pressure washer and just blast it off of there from a distance still, just in case there's any uh, lingering anger inside there, ready to come out and get me. But I think it should be a pretty straightforward nest removal. We can't have them there because our son plays in the backyard, uh, right around there. Our dogs are always in the backyard, and I'm in the backyard, my wife's in the backyard. In short, our family uses that space for family activities. And uh, I can't have a wasp nest right there with the you know, possibility of being stung every time we go outside. So we're gonna take care of that today. And uh, before all you bee lovers out there, oh, that car was parked really close to me. Uh, really close. Before all you bee lovers jump on my back. Yes, I know the importance of bees and wasps to the world. I do know. I think one nest, uh, it was built in the wrong spot. If there was a way to possibly gently and neatly remove it and uh, relocate it, I mean, I'd probably take that option. I'm an animal lover myself. I'm not a cold, heartless, cold-hearted, cold, heartless, cold-hearted dude. <laughs> They're bees. They're going to sting my kid. What do you want me to do? I can't let that happen. And there's no way to relocate a nest. So this is how you do it. This is just how you do it from what I've been told from the people that be. And from the people that be on the YouTubes, they tell me this is how you do it. So. Whatever, come at me if you want. I'm protecting my family. I will not apologize for that. I have annoyed my wife thoroughly by referring to these wasps as bees. It's been hilarious. Uh, we're we are about to take out the wasps 
So I put on some long pants. It's hot outside, but I'm gonna put on some uh, some long sleeves just for this. You can laugh at me if you want to. This is my first time ever going to war with a bunch of wasps. So just in case, you know, just in case. Whatever. Just have this on here. Take it off right away. I'm just gonna like that. Is that smart or could they like get in there? Oh, they might get in there then, right? Let's look at my head on. Okay, got this other camera here. I'm gonna try to set this up so that you can see the hive and see what happens when I uh, when I launch my offensive. Okay. They're not expecting a thing. I haven't made the declaration of war yet, but I'm about to go and do that. You don't want to give the declaration too too early in advance. It's bad war planning, right? You want to you have to legally declare it first, right? But then you want to pow, hit them hard before they have a chance to you know build up their defenses. So they got their soldier bees out there already. All right, here we go. We're on the march. <laughs> I hope this is easy. By everything I've seen on the internet, it looks like this is going to be pretty easy, but I can see a couple of their guard bees here already. Sorry. Oh, okay. One sec uh, before I do anything, I have to uh, do a cleanup on aisle three here at the back of the yard. Sheppy left us something. Okay. So got my phone here so I can call for help if I need it. Got my uh, GoPro here, so I can film. Got uh, this camera I'm holding right now, got my Raid. I'm going to uh, put you guys underneath here so you can guys can get a pretty good view. One second, let's zoom this in. Okay, we have uh, made the official declaration with the trumpets. I didn't film that part. So I've got the uh, camera down here. <laughs> Try to film that up there. Might actually want to use the GoPro down here instead, you know. So we're having a hard time with the lighting on that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? All right? Here we go. Okay, a few feet away. Okay, we're gonna go get it from the other side now. Put it in here. Go right into the hole. Office here I messed up a little bit it actually wasn't that intense I thought that there would be bees swarming all around me and wanted to fight me and I'd have to punch one in the face wasps sorry I thought there'd be wasps uh, I didn't even have to they, they didn't know what hit them I had truly caught them off guard it was a successful offensive so we're inside right now regrouping and we're gonna go out there for another offensive in a few minutes but first I kind of messed up and I put this camera in the line of fire a little bit and I had some friendly fire uh, and I got it on my lens so I gotta quickly wipe that off got it on my mic as well oh so hopefully that won't be any, any big damage or anything <laughs> okay gonna wipe this all off. I noticed it after when I went from that second angle straight at the camera. <sighs> it's a bad one. That was a really bad mistake. But I have proper lens cleaner here so it should be all right. Sounds like there's a party going on inside the room here. While I'm at war, everybody else is having a good time. Isn't that how it always goes? <sighs> yeah. We've got to be careful, though, because now they know I'm here. 
and they're gonna be ready for me next time I go outside if any of them survive that first assault. So uh, we're gonna let the let the spray do its magic, and then we'll head out there again. Somebody didn't get his favorite toy fast enough. Oh, the horrors. <laughs> okay, well, I think we've got this camera all cleaned up here. What do you guys think? You're watching yourself now. How's that? How's that make you feel? You watching you watching me? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, I think that the, the camera will be just fine. Uh, so far, zero casualties on our side. Good. I gotta go back out there. All right, all jokes aside now. I know I was trying to be funny with the whole situation, but uh, it's it was a pretty easy takedown. They didn't even put up a fight, to be honest. I'm just gonna go out here right now and uh, just make sure that they are completely subdued. Now I'll give it, uh, oh, I see a couple more flying around there right now. And I'll give it like a little while for it to soak in there real well and then we'll come scrape it off later. What are these guys doing? I think they had a couple of worker bees, wasps, sorry, workers that are uh, coming back to the nest now, trying to figure out what's going on. This little guy right there. Uh, figure out what's going on. And there's their nest in there. I think I can get pretty close to it now. Let's see if I can get you guys right under there. Yeah. I think it's safe to say we won. So I'll give it like an hour or so out here and I'll come out here and scrape it off. And then I can mow the lawn and let my kid play out here again. So I hope you liked my battle story. <laughs> I'm just a goof. I'm a goof, I know. I gotta try to make everything into a funny joke. So if you have a wasp nest in your yard somewhere and you want to get rid of it, that stuff works really well. That raid uh, wasp and hornet killer very well they didn't even come at me i was like three feet away from their nest while i was spraying it not even one came at me so it's i thought like i said i thought they'd be swarming all around me i thought it was going to be a great video sorry to disappoint you i mean i didn't have any great footage from them because they didn't attack me at all i didn't even get close to being stung not even one landed on me but yeah, a couple of their workers are coming back to their hive now to Find devastation. Yeah. See, there's one guy right there. A couple of them. You guys are gonna have to go make a nest somewhere else. Sorry. There was a massive spider back there too. He's gone now. See, they're not even landing on me. I'm right here. See this guy right there? See that? Like. I'm right here and they're not bothering me at all. I am shocked actually. There's their nest, I'm sticking my hand right here by their nest. <sighs> but, huh. Yeah. Success. Let's check this side. Another one flew right past my arm there, didn't even land on me. So I don't know if I just got really lucky. I don't know, you wasp, uh, what do you call you? Those people who pest control, if that's your job and you're watching this. 
Is that normal that they don't attack you at all? I thought for sure I'd get stung at least once. Would have made for some good content. <laughs> oh well. Take what I can get. <laughs> all right, so it's a few days later. I let that raid soak into that boss nest for two days and uh, I just pulled it down off of there with my hands. I got my family here right now. Oops, I whapped you guys with the door, I'm sorry. Got my mom and dad, my nephew's here. I've already kind of pulled it apart and looked at it, but uh, there was about four layers on it. So that was the outside layer. There's all of the, the bees on the inside. I broke apart the big layer already, here we go. That was one of the big layers in there. Some of the larvae are still moving in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. These guys in there are still moving. If we break it apart a little bit. Like that guy right there, you see that? Those guys. Those guys. Come on. Uh, it's hard to tell, right? There's this piece there. That piece there. This piece here. This was part of this piece. Whole bunch of dead bees. I don't know if we can see the queen in here anywhere. I haven't been able to find the queen yet, but that might be it there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Might be it. Not sure, but yeah, so there was one or one, two, three layers, and they had just started on this one. But there was still some of these larvae that were moving around here before when we first took it out. If I can get this camera to focus. There we go. I don't know if these are still moving. Which one was it that? There wasn't this one. I thought it was this one. There was a couple in here that were moving just a second ago. But, well, yeah, that was the wasp nest. Wow. Launched a major offensive on it. No casualties on our side. Yikes. That's right. <laughs> I did this without Dad's help. <laughs> did it without me. <laughs> now I'm here and I want to look at it. Well, I looked at it before. That one is still moving around. Okay, yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah, moving around a little bit there. Not for long, he won't. Survive long without the family. Wasn't too many bees in the nest. I mean, just like a handful of them here. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is. I don't have as many bees as honeybees. I don't know where the queen is, but this one looks different than all the rest. Right there, that one looks different. So I don't know. Oh, that one's still moving around there. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. It wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought there would be uh, quite the fight from them. They didn't put up much of a fight. Is the larva all dead now? Wow. That's the biggest story. one. Mm. Yeah, that one might, the larva all dead? might be the no, queen. No, that one. That one's still alive. Butt. Oh, yeah, that larva is still alive. Yeah, yep. it's moving. That is the same. Do wasps have a queen too? Yeah. I don't know. They do? You don't want to be here. What are all these come for? for sure. is that? What are all what? Where are their larvae in there? Yeah, those are all like new bees. They would have like hatched almost like eggs. Wasps. Into wasps. new wasps. <laughs> yeah, they're not bees, they're wasps. Yeah, that wasps. one's still alive. That one's still alive. <laughs> Which one? What that one right there. Those two. What is these that? two here? Oh, yeah, like right in moving. the corner there, eh? Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's really gross. What is that? Crazy. Very 
This hurts. Those are yeah, they, they built this so fast. It was just a couple of days. Wow. This is a big nest. Well, a couple of days that we know of. We didn't notice it until recently. Oh, and there's another one that's alive. That one's still alive. And that one's still alive. Wow. Oh, and there's, there's like almost, most of them are alive. Well, a few days later, finally putting this together. I'm a little bit behind because on holidays and also because I'm always behind. But I have that excuse now. I'm on holidays. I'm not editing every day, okay? Spending time with family is number one right now. But, uh, yeah, as you saw, that was the uh, wasp nest destruction video that uh, no one asked for. But that's what you got. And it was successful, so I'll show you where it was. It was right underneath here. That's what's left of it. I'm just gonna double check in here, make sure they haven't built another one. Haven't started another one. No, I think I got the whole hive. So, that's that. It was a threat to my kid playing out here in my backyard and my dogs. And the threat was neutralized. I'm enjoying my holidays and uh, there's a bunch more home time videos coming up. I haven't been filming every single day, but I am giving you updates as often as I can. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I did film most, almost every day so far. I'm, I'm filming, just wrapping this up like the same day that you watch this. I'm wrapping this up now. Uh, and yeah, there is uh, quite a bit of home time content coming, but we'll be back on the road before you know it. For those of you who are here for trucking videos, surprise, my whole life isn't all about trucking. Though, most of my life is, and it's nice just to take a break and enjoy spending time with family. We have some fishing videos coming up. We got some uh, having fun at the park videos, a Costco run, uh, doing some work on the truck on Old Blue. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on this week still, so there will still be content here. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you hanging out with me on my holidays, and... Uh, Leave me a comment down below, hit that thumbs up button if you like my videos, and if you want to see more, uh, go to my playlist on my channel, click my name down below, go to my playlists, go down below and uh, check out all of uh, the content I've been making since 2011. There's a lot there, and I have it all uh, organized into, like, by year. You'll see. We'll see you later, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.